<laughs> with vinegar. <laughs> yeah, we all like fish and chips. We do like fish and chips. Uh, do you have bread and butter with yours? Uh, no. Oh. No. How's the cats? So we've been talking about when the bombs dropped in Nuneaton in 1941. And obviously the war ended in 1945. The whole country and Nuneaton celebrated. And somebody who can remember all those celebrations going on in the town is with me now, June, June Miller. Thanks for popping in and see us. So the, the war ended. Yes. Uh, everyone had gone through the bombings and obviously yes. Nuneet was bombed and it around the area that you live which was uh, Alexander, Alexander Street. Street. Yes. So how did you hear about the war coming to an end? Well as a, as, as a four year old I can't remember that part but I can remember mum dressing me up in a nurse's uniform. It was a, a dress up day. Oh a fancy dress day. Fancy dress yeah. thing. My father was a school teacher with cap and gown. Oh right yeah. And our next door neighbour was a naughty little boy in short trousers and a cap. Now the first thing I can remember though is all the men in the street that weren't still in the surfaces, services going from house to house, bedroom to bedroom, putting the bunting oh, right, and handing yes. flags out. Yeah. That's the thing I yeah. remember first. God knows where all they, those came from. And I don't know where all the tables came from that they put the food in, jellies and yeah. Kate, I don't know. And that they all appeared as the of child, nowhere. they appeared, yes. And yeah. I, I think our mothers were very good with the store cupboard pantry. Yes. And they made something out of something. Nothing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it's quite exciting, that part, yes. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, the tables were in the middle of the street. Yes. Tablecloths, all this food. Yes, they had tablecloths. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, uh, obviously, around the area that you were was damaged, Edward Street yes. and, and all that was, was bombed. Yeah. So, you know, it was all still fresh in your memory and there you were celebrating uh, amongst the rubble for want of a better description. Yes. But, you know... Uh, but as a four-year-old, I probably wasn't aware of that. Of, I remember of that. the street part. But you, you can visualise oh, what, yes. what you saw. Yes. So there was lots of red, white and blue and, and very yes. patriotic and, yes. and that. And you listen to the King on uh, radio, at the radio yes, and, yes. And, and things like that. So um, you were at school or, or, or at I was at school um, at the time? I was at Fitton Street School. Yeah. And at that time, in the afternoons, you lay down on little beds. Oh, right. Yeah, had a little uh, snooze. Put to sleep, yeah. Oh, so right. <laughs> I can remember that about Fitton Street School. Yeah. So, um, uh, so when the street party, you didn't go to school. You had the street party. No, uh, even the, the men. They must have been all given a, a day, day off. off. Yeah. Yes, they must have been. That that were here. A lot of them were still serving. So. But the, there was lots of um, memorabilia issued for all sorts. Oh, beer. There was beer. Was that? Men well, were drinking a, beer. I don't know whether that was on um, what do you call it. Hooch. It, it was no. homemade stuff, was it? I or? don't know. I knew you couldn't get whiskey and things like that. No, reason. no. But I, I, I know with hindsight. Yeah, but I've, I've got some letters from breweries to clubs saying that due to the war restrictions, there's a shortage of. Yeah. So, yes, it, it'd be beer, but where, where it come from? Although there was a couple of uh, breweries in town and, 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 yeah. and bottling plants, so you never know where it come from. And sometimes it was best not to ask, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but this appeared. Uh, and obviously, you, you children tucked into your jelly and things like yes. that. But what I was going to say, for many events, like coronations or whatever, yeah, there was memorabilia issued. Yes. For the end of the war, mm. can you recall anything being... No, I can't. Honestly, to, I no. can't. No. Um, I've got, as you say, coronation memorabilia yeah. at home. That sort of thing. But my, my father was very good with his celebrations. Um, Only the flags. I mean, he kept the flags. And yeah. Have you, have you still got your flag? Oh, I don't know. They were in Dad's chest. I'd have to, I'd have to put those out. I don't think so. Uh, and, and obviously, rationing continued for quite a number of years after yes, the war. Yes, I've got a couple of ration books. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And as I say, we've mentioned before, you know, no matter what the rations with food and what have you, mums always put a, a, a meal on the table. And VE Day with your street party, you know, there was cakes, there was jelly, there was sandwiches, sandwiches. and it was all rationed. So. Everybody 
joined together. They did in those uh, days. Uh, and they did. Yeah. Uh, and nowadays you can live next door to somebody and not know, and not know the, the surname. I have a recollection that it was mostly us children that were doing the eating. <laughs> yeah. Whether our parents wanted out again. You, you can't remember no, that. No, I can't no. remember that. But it, it, as I say, it was a time that a lot of people went through. It affected them and stayed with them mm. for many years. And even now, you know, I've spoke to people that if they close their eyes, they can they can see the bombs drop. Yeah. They can see this. They if they're in their eighties, they would be able to. Yeah. Them, yeah. yeah. But you know, your your memory of a VE Day street party, and um, I suppose all the children dressed up. At, did they? Yes, or, I was a nurse. Uh, you, you were the nurse. But what about the mums and dads? Did they dress up? Or yeah, my, or dad, they... my dad was a schoolmaster, completely the, the, more sport than that. So, so, yes. but, so that was his job as well, wasn't no. it? Oh, no, no, sorry. No, he worked in a factory over there. And oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he dressed up as a school teacher. Yes. And, uh, yes. He was headmaster for the day. Yes. <laughs> and everybody had to listen. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> and I um, don't know whether sort of um, Windsor Street, which was next to us, yeah. whether those smaller streets came into and helped us separate. Yeah, I can't remember that. No. But, uh, uh, every the, street was the, the, able to get in. Oh, uh, no, it was bombed. There was a lot of damage in uh, Edward Street. But uh, uh, after VE Day, when, when peace had been declared, over the next weeks and months, you know, ha what happened in the meeting? Was, was there a, a rebuilding programme for the, for the bomb damage? Or, or can you remember anything after the war of, of return, going to school and, and yeah, things like that? Yeah, we just went back to school and, and for children it went on as normal as before. Yeah, it didn't uh, bother the youngsters. That no, they, they, no. Because a, a lot of, say, you know, with bomb damage, they'd, they'd go out collecting bits of bomb and all and sorts shrapnel. of and shrapnel. <laughs> so, for want of a better description, it was a bit of fun yes. for them. Uh, and they did all sorts. I can remember a couple of years after that playing on bomb damage, so yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, there was quite a, a lot of that happened. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, Jim, thanks very much That's for sharing your memories it's of VE. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it, VE Day and the street parties, and I have seen a couple. There was one in Marbury Road or Norman Avenue or something like yes. that. Yes. But now we know there was one in Alexander Street. Yes. Uh, and if anyone's got any photos of yes. Alexander Street, VE Day party, or indeed any street parties, celebrating the end of World War II in and around the Neen, please do get in touch. You can do so by visiting our website at www.nunitamemories.co.uk.